is Mark Stock with Mark Stock Real Estate Experts at Remax Premier on our video blog where we give you relevant information so you can make informed decisions. Thank you for watching today. Today I want to talk a little bit about pricing strategy and pricing your home right. Um, we all know that there's a price that anybody will buy your home, but we also know there's a price that nobody would buy your home. What I want to talk about is what should be the strategy in, in pricing your home and what are the pitfalls of pricing it too high. One of the number one things I hear from sellers in pricing is I want to price it high so that there's room for negotiations. Now that makes sense, but there's some things I think that need to be considered when, when looking at that. Number one, when you price it a little bit high, according to the uh, NAR, National Association of Realtors, uh, even as little as 5% over what is considerable high market value, they say that your chances of selling have dropped 90%. So by pricing it high, a couple things happen. One, the potential buyers that should be seeing your home are not seeing it. So those important days on market, the early days on market, when pent-up demand, uh, I, in other words, pent-up demand is the demand, the people that have been looking at homes haven't been able to find the right one. Maybe yours is the right one for that right buyer, but you've got it priced over market so they don't even see it. So. So number one, potential buyers that should be seen it aren't. And number two, it inc the increased time on market. Um, once you've been on the market for a lot long or for a long period of time, uh, the number two question that people ask when they enter a home is number one, what's it priced, and number two, how long has it been on the market? So you have psychological factors working against you in that regard. What's going through the buyer's mind when they ask how long has it been on the market? They're calculating in their head how many people have seen it before them and how many people thus have rejected your home and obviously they feel hey if it wasn't good enough for them it's not good enough for me so that ultimately is going to lower your net sales price just on the psychological aspects of that number three you could establish your a reputation of being an unrealistic seller uh, agents that have shown your home previously would dissuade uh, buyers from coming by because they know that it's overpriced and feel that the seller is not being realistic the other thing that has to happen then is a price reduction and one of the problems that you get into when you start reducing prices is the buyers on the other side say hey I wonder when the next price reduction is again increasing your time on market and decreasing the value in the minds of the of the good buyers one of the significant things for pricing a home right in today's market especially in a heated market is by pricing it right you could get multiple offers in and once you get people competing against each other, you have in that case then an auction. And people are going to make emotional decisions that they might not have. So the converse is working for you. Hey, this guy wants it. That makes me want it even more. So I'm willing to pay more than it's worth. This is Mark Stock with the Mark Stock Real Estate Experts at Remax Premier, encouraging you to price your home right.